Hey guys, this is Trinity Roots again, and I'm at my three month and maybe three month plus three days mark for my locks. Um, these are my locks. They're pretty new still, and this is how they look approximately a week and a half after a retwist. So I retwisted a week and a half ago because I wanted my hair to be fresh for my graduation. I finally finished school. I just graduated and I'm done with school forever. Yay! Anywho, that's probably not why you turned on this video. And so this is about a week and a half after uh, a retwist. For those of you who have never watched any of my videos before, I'm just going to go through what I do with my hair and for those of you who have watched it before, I pretty much do the same thing I was doing before. No changes, still washing with the, um, okay, peppermint cast out soap. There's a glare from the, that's natural light in my apartment. I love, I love how much light I get in here. But uh, this is the peppermint version of the cast out soap that I use. And this actually isn't mine, but I use, <laughs> whatever's around here and so this is the, the Jamaican mango lime locking gel and I twist my hair up and just clip it with these hair little clips and something else actually something new I've been using when I buy products I don't like to uh, throw them away I'll rather just use them up and not buy them again uh, so I've been using up this one shampoo. It's the um, Giovanni's 50-50 Balance Hydrating Slash Clarifying Shampoo. And I'm not using it up because it's bad or anything. Man, I can't get anything to focus. It's not. It's actually pretty good shampoo. Um, so who knows? Maybe I'll buy it again. But I actually like both of them. I like the Castile Soap and I like the Giovanni's um, Hydrating Clarifying Shampoo. One thing I would suggest that you don't use is... Uh, any moisturizing shampoos because they tend to have uh, extra stuff in it that can leave residue on your locks and residue is not a good thing. Actually since I've talked to you guys last time I've also done a couple of uh, apple cider vinegar rinses where I've done the half and half AC apple cider vinegar with water and just spread it over my hair, rubbed it in and my hair has been pretty residue free. Um, I remember my first set of locks I had a problem with the lint in the back the back locks. I have three in the back now and I actually don't have a lint problem. Maybe because it's the summertime and last time I started them and it was winter so I had sweaters and stuff rubbing on there. So as the year goes by and the weather gets colder, right now it's really hot, I'm in Georgia, uh, as the weather gets colder maybe I'll be wearing more sweaters and stuff and I may get lint in the back. But for now I haven't had that problem. So I just wanted to check in with you guys to let you know that I'm still here I'm finally done with school and so I'll be able to put out more videos and won't be as busy. You guys can probably see um, in the back there, I'm actually packing to leave this apartment. My box is back there. <laughs> so the place is kind of hectic, but I just wanted to say hi to you guys. And uh, Also, for moisture, uh, before I was having some issue with dry locks, and so for moisture what I've been doing is putting in a spray bottle um, approximately two cups of water and I got this uh, recipe from my sister I don't know where she got it from but about a, a teaspoon of rose water and glycerin a couple drops of vitamin E and I ran out of my tea tree oil but about I don't know 20 drops of tea tree oil also shake it up, spray it on my head, and then I would seal with uh, my coconut oil. What? My camera's off. Psst. Camera's off. Anyway, my coconut oil. Um, and I got this from Earth Fair. I'm sure you can, guys can get coconut oil from... I don't know if they sell them in regular, sell it in regular uh, grocery stores, but I get mine from Earth Fair around here along with all my other hair stuff hair stuff is organic not that I think it has to be but that's just the way my stuff turned out you can use whatever you have available to you and of course as always you know if you want your hair to look good you have to put water in your body so 
keep drinking water, eating good foods. Anyway, that's it, guys. I just wanted to come on here and say hi, let you know how I'm doing, let you see my locks. These are my babies. Let me turn around. 360. And they're thickening up. Okay, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to keep turning. Oh, uh, there we go. Whew. Whew. I almost didn't make it. <laughs> All right. They're thickening up a little bit too. And so this is, like I said before, three months and some days. All right. Well, that's it. Let me know how your locks are doing. If you have locks, if you just started. And thanks for, thanks for watching. Have a good day.